Concerns over the impact of a so-called Brexit on the U.S. economy continue to push U.S. bond yields lower, yields which mortgage rates loosely follow. And with rates near lows, that lenders are now more focused on credit availability, which has been tight since the financial crisis. The nation's largest lender convened a panel of experts to voice concerns and potential solutions in Washington today, and Diana Olick was there. And the kitchen's really a good size. A growing number of Americans say they are considering buying a home. In fact, 40% of millennials say they probably or definitely will in the next two years. That's according to a new survey by Wells Fargo. The trouble, says the nation's largest mortgage lender, is that these potential buyers are misinformed about mortgages. We see three myths. Uh, one is that you have to have a 20% down payment, which we know is not true. There are programs for less down payment. Number two, you have to have perfect or near perfect credit. And number three, you have to have high incomes. Wells Fargo recently launched a 3% down payment loan backed by Fannie Mae targeting first time buyers. It is fully underwritten and does require mortgage insurance, but it's designed to be cheaper and simpler than the government backed FHA loan. Codell says in just a few weeks, Wells has seen strong demand and expects more. We think the next few years are going to be a, a period of high growth for new homeowners coming into the marketplace. Because according to housing experts Codell gathered in Washington Tuesday, since the recession, lending has been far too tight. If lending were just back to the pre-boom standards of 2001. There would have been 1.2 million additional loans in 2014. Cumulatively, 5.2 million additional loans from 2009 to 2014 with a more reasonable set of credit standards, and this is something that we can do something about. But former FDIC chairman Sheila Baer argued the 3% down Wells Fargo product is deja vu all over again. So you have that really, really low down payment, even from a borrower's perspective. You're exposing yourself to risk if home prices uh, take a dip. Wells Fargo's new product may help some home buyers, but the trend toward easing credit standards appears to be tapering off, at least according to a new report from Fannie Mae. 90% of lenders it surveyed said they were keeping credit standards about the same. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.